Hey guys, it's Craig and we're back for another review of Fog & Co. This week we are rocking uh, Fog Him by uh, Fog & Co. Do you know what guys, before we even get started, you may think he's had that quite a while, he ain't got through that much. I actually only started using this on Monday. It, and I've got through this much, I've been on it non-stop. And this review will tell you all about it, so stay tuned. Let's have a look at it. Uh, so Fog & Co, I run the three milligram nicotine, as always, from next period, our next sponsorship, I will be dropping down to zero. I wanna try and get off the nicotine because as we all know, TPD is a pain in the backside with nick shots and everything. So I wanna see if coming off to zero nicotine might help get the bigger bottles and we'll see what sort of background that relies on TPD. We don't know yet. There's talk that they're gonna start affecting nick shots. So I wanna try and jump ahead before it even gets there. Let's hope they don't start focusing on the juice itself and the size of the bottles. Otherwise, we're gonna be in a bit of a problem. But uh, let's jump straight into it. I have my mod back this week. Uh, I remember it at the time. And uh, we are on the Geek Vape Mech Pro that I need to clean up because I've just noticed I am leaking everywhere. Always wipe up my t-shirt, I don't know why. I actually done my first own build in that, which I'm actually really impressed with. So let's jump straight in with the flavor profile of Fog Him. So flavor and smell. To me, I get a very strong smoothie, smoothie? fruity smell on this. I also can smell cream and like cereal. I have read this up. This is meant to be a, like a, a fruity cereal with cheesecake and cream. Cream's definitely there. The fruit is there. I can't smell the cereal and I can't smell the cheesecake. But uh, let's jump straight in to the flavor profile. As always, we run this on two setups, uh, tank and RDA. So let's do the tank first, shall we? Really nice, really nice, Not a, no throat it at all. The fruit, it's not very strong, but then it mixes well with that cereal and the cream is there. The cream is very rich. Very rich cream, very nice, very subtle, very smooth. The fruit is a slight hint. I can't pinpoint the fruit because it is that subtle. But the cereal flavor, it's there, it's spot on. I'm not one for cereals, but as you can tell, since Monday I've got through nearly a whole bottle. I am loving this juice so, so much. I never thought I would. I thought I'd be one of these people like, oh, cereal, not my thing. But I can't fault it. I absolutely love this flavor. I would use it as an all day vape. Cloud production, as always, lovely. I do run my tank at 150 with, what coil have I got on here at the minute? I think I've got the 0.12 on the TFV12. So very creamy, very cereal. Can't taste the cheesecake there. If it is there, it's combined with that creaminess. Very creamy, very cereal. Let's go in then with the Geek Vape Mech Pro RDA Medusa. I am running a 0.18 coil on that, just standard coils. I built it myself, I've never ever built in my life. So I've done my research, done my own law, and it's running at 0.18, so I'm happy with that. Fire time on this is a little bit long. But the flavor, that cereal on the tank, on the deck, bang, right in there. Creaminess follow on the exhale. Fruit, I don't know if it's how I built my coils, but it's there, but it's very, very slight. But it's very, very nice. On either, I would vape this all day. This would be an all day vape for me. I am loving this juice. I can't fault it. I think if there's too much fruit in it, I think it would overpower it and destroy it. So, Fog & Co, you've done yourself good on this one. That fruit is not overpowering, which is nice. I would say it's more of a breakfasty sort of juice. If you like your breakfast cereal with your creams, 
this would be one for you. I'm loving it. So Fog and Fog Him from Fog and Co. Absolutely love it. I'll pop their website on the screen here. So go check them out. Don't get use our discount code AATV30. Don't forget to throw them a like on Facebook as well. I'll leave all their descriptions in the details below. And also all of our Instagram, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter pages down below as well. Next week, we do sadly say sorry and goodbye to Fog & Co with our last review, but not to worry, we have got a brand new sponsor coming up after that, so keep your eyes out. I hope you have a fantastic week, and that Sunday, our new days of uploading, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon, have a fantastic day and week, and it's all about the vape. Catch you soon.